What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Zero Escape Virtues Last Reward Blind. In the last episode, we finished up the puzzles of the archives, thought they were actually really cool, and made our way to this warehouse, which we haven't really had the chance to explore yet. We had a glimpse of it last in one of our previous timelines, but hopefully now we'll have a chance to actually take a look around. Anyways, Clover says, is this another warehouse? It looks like it. Just like the one on floor A. There's graffiti on the wall here, too. It's something different, though. Memento Mori, if the ninth lion ate the sun. Hmm. For what it's worth, this is probably also an anagram, but it's such a long phrase that I'm not too compelled to try to decipher it right now. <laughs> um... Yeah. Did, did they make a mistake? Hmm. That isn't how you spell it. They added that E to ninth, but why? Yeah, that is weird. What does it mean? Well, I think Memento Mori is Latin for something like Remember Death, or Don't Forget Your m Mortality. That other part, I mean, I assume it's just what it says on the tin. A conditional relating to whether or not a lion has eaten the sun? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but what on earth does that mean? Hmm. It just seems like gibberish. Agreed. Whatever it means is beyond me. Is maybe the first part not an anagram, but then the second two lines, the if the ninth lion ate the sun, would be? Hmm. I don't know. Look at that door over there. Doesn't it look just like the one on the other floor? Yeah, but there isn't anything written on this one. Yeah, there's a big nine on the other door. I guess that means this door isn't important. I don't know if I'd make that assumption. I don't see anything that looks like it might open it either. Yep. Nothing. Not opening. Of course it isn't. I mean, look at this thing. It's solid steel. Well, how do you open it then? From the other side, maybe? Yeah, that sounds a lot more reasonable. The other side? Hey, what's the deal with those doors over there? The ones that are glowing white. Do you think they could be chromatic doors? There are three of them. Hmm. Yeah, I think you're right. See? They've got these little boxes. These must be the next set of chromatic doors we're supposed to go through. But they're all the same color. Well... For all the other doors, we had to add colors together to make another color. In this case, we probably just have to make white instead. Are we gonna get to be... Are they gonna show us the, uh, the color wheel? That would be helpful. Anyway, suddenly, the voice of the announcer echoed throughout the warehouse. Dio! Dio! <laughs> Come on. An Ambidex gate has been opened. Forty-five minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. What? How the heck did that happen? Someone on one of the other teams must have opened one. All they need is one of the moon keys. Why would they do that without waiting for the rest of us? We can ask them when we get there. Come on! 
I'm curious to see if it's Dio again. Right, it's obviously not a guarantee. But I would certainly expect it. We will see, though. How is this Ambidex game gonna go? Our opponent's Clover. Is she gonna want to stay with Alice? When Alice inevitably collapses? Hmm, I don't know. Sure, it's taken us a while to get back to this Ambidex room, though. It is on a whole other floor. We leapt out of the magenta door and into the warehouse. There stood Temyoji, Dio, and Alice. Hey! What the heck is this? Why'd you open one of the AB rooms before the rest of us got back? Alice and I haven't done anything. Okay, of course it's Dio. Dio apparently felt he didn't need to wait. Hmm. You got a problem? Yes. Yes, I do have a problem. Why? I don't remember saying anything about waiting until everyone got back to open the AB rooms. Yeah, this is... Oh. <laughs> we had, like, the skip option for a split second. Anyways, are you kidding me? We didn't talk about it because we thought it was common sense. Sigma's right. We were able to get back quickly, but... The others could still be stuck somewhere. No sooner were the words out of her mouth... Oh, thank goodness. Let's see here. Oh, so it's different. You're all here. Did something happen? Yes. It's Quark, you see. He... What? Poor Temuji, having to go through this shock so many times. What happened to Quark? He collapsed. It happened so suddenly, we were just searching our room. What? So now the question is going to be, did anybody go to the treatment center this time around? Because that'll have some pretty big, big impact on how the following events unfold, right? Please, you must hurry to the infirmary. His condition can change at any moment. You should go. Oh no. Timoji shoved Kay aside and leapt through the yellow door. This looks awfully familiar, but I guess... Maybe it's not the same. The rest of us exchanged a few startled looks, then ran off after him. So here we are in the infirmary. Quark! Can we skip this? We can. Okay, so they go through the same process of... Well, how is Quark doing? And now Sigma is talking about where he was, right? They're looking for the different medicine. I recall this stopping point from the last time we had this encounter. So, they were looking for it. Yeah, what about the other room? Sigma, what about you? Did you find anything? In the archives? No, that was just piles and piles of books and papers. Nothing even remotely like medicine there. Okay. What about you, Kay? Was there any medicine in your room? I'm terribly sorry. There was nothing of sort of the sort in the garden. So K and Quark and Phi were in the garden, right? I'm curious to see if Phi will if there will be a bomb in the garden, and if so, Phi will show us. That is, of course, dependent on Alice also collapsing in the garden. Plenty of vegetation, but unfortunately no medicine. Oh god. Then he's... he's going to... Look, just to be sure, where did the three of you go? The pantry? What? The pantry? So it seems like every single time somebody goes to the garden, 
And then the other two rooms vary quite a bit between the control room, the archive, the pantry, and the treatment center. What's in the pantry? There was tons of food everywhere, but Axelavir? What door were they behind? I think the green door is the uh, garden. Is it? Or is that the one we just did? Let me check the flowchart real quick. <clears throat> so the very first one we went through was the blue door. So the blue door would have the garden. We went through the green door this time. Which means if Kay and Quark went to the garden, they must have gone through the blue door. Which means behind the red door was the pantry. In our other route, the red door had the control room. So that's right. I think. <laughs> Nothing. Tamyoji slumped to the ground. For a moment, there was silence. And then the player chose skip. And. Okay, so a lot of this is happening the same as it did before. Quark's having a tough time, they have to give him the anesthetic. And then Alice does the same deal. And now things are probably going to slow down. So Alice still grabs the scalpel and is infected as well. Now we're looking around the different areas and this is where things are going to get different. So the lounge, no one here. Darn, where did she go? So we're still hunting her down. Wonder if she'll still be in the garden. No point in complaining, I just need to look somewhere else. I turned and headed toward the exit. Yeah, I'm really curious to see if Fi mentions the bomb to us. And again, if we don't have the treatment center, we're not going to have access to the treatment pod and potentially even the one dose of Excelivir we, we could maybe have. I get the impression we're going to run into a different, you know, holdup on this route and we're going to need to come up with some other information to get past it. So this time we're going into the red door. This should be the pantry. Yes, the pantry. I wonder if I were to check the map if it were all labeled, with all the different rooms we've discovered in their various locations. So this is the pantry, huh? Alice, Temyoji, and Dio search this room. Looks like a pretty interesting room, honestly. Darn. Nothing here either. We need to find her quick. Or she's gonna do something bad. If she loses it like Quark did and nobody's around to stop her... So I think part of why we can guarantee that the garden is some place that everybody, somebody goes to in all three of these timelines, um, you know, on this part of the flowchart, is because Alice ends up in the garden every single time. So somebody has to go to the garden to keep that room unlocked. Darn, I need to hurry. I decided to try the garden where Phi, Quark, and K had gone after passing through their door. To a certain extent, I wonder if... Well, I don't really know. I don't feel too great about Phi, but... I know before I mentioned she may be, you know, reporting her own body, right? She may be planting the bomb and then confiding in somebody to seem better, um, or to gain their trust when, in fact, she doesn't actually deserve it. Maybe that's something going on if the bomb is still noticeable here. Or, I mean, there's the also very plausible. Phi's the only one to notice the bomb because she's incredibly observ um, observant. The first thing I noticed when I stepped inside was the smell. Plant life was everywhere and the air was... Okay, yeah, so this is the same thing that we noticed before. Just like Kay said, plants and stuff everywhere. Darn. She's not here either. This is bad. We'd been searching for Alice for a while and I found nothing. I hope that nothing had happened to her, but... Whoa. So this is very different. I searched every corner of floor B. She was nowhere to be seen. What? This is pointless. Where could Alice have gone then? If she's not on floor B, she must be somewhere in floor A. Which of the rooms on floor A would she have gone to? I should just get back to floor A. Maybe someone else has found her. Oh no, and this music. This is so ominous. 
What happened to her? Did we take too long and she harmed herself? Or did somebody else get to her first and attack her and then maybe make it appear that she harmed herself? Or something like that. Where would she be on floor A? This is certainly a twist I did not see coming. So no mention of that bomb in the garden. But now we're in the crew quarters, which is where we explored with her um, before the first Ambidex game, after the first set, through the first set of chromatic doors. Is she in here? Doesn't look like anybody's here. I should have a look in the rooms. I feel like we're going to get locked in one of the rooms. Oh no! Yikes! Alice! So this is this is the rough Alice timeline where we betray her and she has one point, is on the verge of death, and then nobody finds her in time, and she supposedly stabs herself. The first thing I saw when I stepped through the door was the blossom of red on her chest. It was almost like getting punched. I stopped short, my body refusing to move. No. Why did this happen? I forced one shaking foot forward, then the next. My legs began to wobble and I put a hand against the wall to steady myself as my heart thundered in my chest. Calm down. Calm down. This looks pretty bad, but you don't actually know anything yet. Yeah, that's right. Maybe it's not too late. I mean, the, the bracelet is off, so theoretically it, she shouldn't have a pulse, right? Maybe we can still save her. It's possible, but at the same time, we don't have the treatment center opened in uh, this particular timeline. Then at, le then at last I pressed my fingers to her neck and those hopes were dashed. No pulse. Clearly she wasn't breathing either. Her pupils had dilated hideously, making her face seem somehow inhuman. No. Embedded in her chest was a scalpel. I was no doctor, but judging by the angle, it looked like it had pierced her heart. Had someone stabbed her? No. What if she... Right, because of everything going on with Radical Six, because of what Quark said, we have pretty reason, pretty uh, solid suspicion to think that she might have stabbed herself. No. No. Something in my brain snapped. Ah, what? Sigma going crazy, a scream clawed its way out of my body, taking my mind with it. The last thing I felt was my body slumping to the floor as the world went dark. Is he like going Super Saiyan? When I came to, I was floating in a field of nothingness. What? So this is a game over, okay. So Alice's death is a game over. I wonder what caused this game over though, right? So we'll save here because again, you know, that, that YouTube life. But let's look at the flowchart. Huh. Where did Alice go? I'm really curious about this, right? Because this is a big branching point. It's not like we got to the end of a particular flow. And I don't see a big decision it's, we have to know where Alice went. We found her in the crew quarters, right? But... But can we just, like, go back to the same novel section now? Because we know the result of this timeline? I don't know. I don't know. Something... I, I wish I could zoom out here. I don't know why I can't, to my knowledge. Okay, I wanted to compare the icons. Hmm. Because I thought the green might mean that we have the knowledge we need. Can I please? Thank you. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Because, like, look at the difference between these two locks. This one says there isn't enough antiviral medication. Lock number four. And it shows that black question mark. Whereas on this one it says, where did Alice go? Lock number six. But it's got a green and it's got an open book. I'm curious to try it again. Because now we theoretically know, right? 
Let's see if things are different. No one here, huh? Darn, where did she go? Then suddenly the world shifted. There we go. So that, that icon is really helpful for knowing that we have the information we need, I think. The world shifted. We got a premonition. For just an instant, I was somewhere else entirely. My mind reeled, and then, just as I'd begun to adjust, it was gone. As if nothing had happened. What... what was that? It was the same sensation I'd felt when I saw the vision of the bombs exploding. Had it been a premonition? This is bad. I need to find Alice now! But where could she be? Darn, Alice, where are you? Alright, to the crew quarters we go. What about the crew quarters? Yeah. Yeah, that has to be it. I set off at a dead run. Ooh, this is exciting. I like this. <laughs> I like this a lot. Are we almost there? Yes. What are we going to find when we get here? How are we going to explain that we decided to come to the crew quarters, right? If we're the first to get here, we're going to have to address whatever state she's in. In all the other timelines, we got there after Phi had already found her. The moment I entered the crew hallway, I made straight for the door to the number two room. Or through the hallway to the number, tour, or number two room. Alice should be in here. I swallowed and threw open the door. Alice, so you were here. As I spoke, her eyes turned toward mine, but I didn't get the feeling that they were looking at me. Her skin was pale and sickly, and one of her hands held the scalpel like I'd caught her in the middle of something. What are you doing here? It's okay. I'm just here to help you. Help me? What do you mean? Just let go of that scalpel. No. I need it to get this bracelet off. Huh? Remember what Zero the Third, Zero Junior told us? The bracelet comes off when your heart stops. So I just have to. <gasps> Whoa! Stop! Before I even finished the word, I was running. I grabbed both her arms and wrenched them back, pulling the blade away from her chest. <clears throat> this is intense. Can we, can we get a Virtue's Last Reward anime? <laughs> no! Let me go! I have to do this. I can't take it anymore. This whole thing is like a nightmare I can't wake up from. The only way I'm going to get out of here is to die. Knock it off! With a grunt, I tore the scalpel from her hands. So part of what's also interesting is we confirm that she runs to a particular place with the scalpel, right? She has the scalpel when we find her. And that raises my suspicion that she probably still had the scalpel when she was found by Phi in the garden in the other timelines too. It was a second before I felt a burning pain in my left hand. I'd apparently cut myself getting the darn thing away from her. Very quickly it progressed from a dull throbbing to a hot line of pain across my palm. I clenched my teeth and squeezed my hand tight. I was so focused on my pain that I barely heard Alice collapse. She didn't respond when I shook her. Uh oh. Hey, are you alright? Alice, say something! There was a moment of terror before I realized she was still breathing. I didn't know why, but it seemed she'd only passed out. Crap, what am I supposed to do now? Oh man, maybe the infirmary? It's got all those medical things. Buoyed by adrenaline, I hefted Alice's body and took off toward the infirmary. Ooh, so this is exciting, guys. I'm very excited to see how everything happens now. Is anybody else here, or are they all still looking for Alice? Alright, please pay attention, everyone. You need to hear this. Okay, so this is the same. Regarding her own infection with Radical Six. When are they gonna address... Whenever, uh... Huh, this is, this is kinda weird. What's Dio saying now? He's got such a smug smile, I can't trust it. Let's see here. Hmm... She'll just be sleeping like Quark. 
I don't care. I just... I just want to stay with her. She shouldn't have to be all by herself. Okay. So basically, Clover is trying to stay with Alice. And what about Temyoji? Do we hear anything about Temyoji? I don't see much about Temyoji claiming that he wants to stay. But now Dio is all smug. Everything's coming up, Sigma, huh? What a lucky, lucky man you are. Sigma and Luna. You two are going to be playing against Clover. If she doesn't vote, then she'll default to ally. That means if she stays here, the two of you are going to be sitting pretty. Especially you, Sigma. Yeah, it's because we're sitting at six points, right? After all, you've got six BP right now. Are you saying I'm going to choose Betray? If you do, you'll get what you need to escape. Baka. There's no way I'd do that. Is that so? Yes, it is so. For one, I'm not the only one making this decision. Right. However, we did take a sneak peek at the flowchart and know that there's a pretty big branch coming up. And I would bet that that's the result of this upcoming AB game. And as a result, I'm fairly confident we are going to first probably ally and then later choose Betray for the sake of exploration. Luna's my partner, and she'll be in the AB room with me. You really think she'd just stand by and let me do something like that? Back me up here, Luna. Um, well, the last time we were in the AV game, or in the AV room with Luna, she basically was like, yeah, it's your decision. <laughs> Actually, I was planning to let you make the decision. See? Told you. You can lie to us if you want, but you can't lie to yourself. Shut up. Um... What? If I might make a suggestion, what if Sigma and Luna both remained here? It's funny, the, the reversal of roles. Should all three of you abstain, then you would all be guaranteed to ally, correct? Nope, doesn't work like that. Why not? Here, take a look at this. I pulled the scrap of paper we'd found out of my pocket. Huh? What's this? We found it when we went to the archives. There wasn't anything like this in the pantry. Nothing in the garden either. Hmm. I guess they only put one in the archives. Whatever. I'll just read it for you. Here are some more AB game rules, yada yada yada, we've already, you know, we, we've experienced this a couple times now. Get it? The whole team can't abstain. That means either Dio or Temyoji is going to have to vote then. And they're playing against Alice. Right. Oh. I guess playing against is a little generous. So Alice is guaranteed to vote ally, which means that if Dio picks Betray, knock it off. You're trying to get back at me for what I said earlier. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> to be honest, it's nearly an identical situation. I don't remember exactly how many points Dio has. I think he's at five this timeline, but no way am I going to choose Betray. You do know her BP is at 1, right? What do you think would happen to her if I did that? Dio seems so sus in the other timeline. He's at least acting a little bit more benevolent this time around. I wouldn't put it past you. Yeah, me neither. What? Cool it, boys. Don't worry. I'm gonna be in that room, too. Interesting, so this is a pretty big departure, right? 
Temyoji this time around is saying, I'm going to be in that room. In the previous timeline, he said, I'm going to stay here as well. And that way, Dio couldn't pin it on Temyoji. <laughs> I'd plan to stay here with Quark just to make sure he was safe. But it doesn't look like I'm going to have that luxury. I can't trust Dio to make a decision for all three of us. That means we're going to be sharing a room, bucko. <laughs> I've got my eye on you. Temyoji's growing on me quite a bit. Have you now, Sigma? Yeah, thanks. That's a release. Exactly. Oh man, everybody's against me. Whatever shall I do? I don't know, maybe not start the Ambidex game when we're not all there. I don't know, that sounds like a pretty good way to not lose your trust. Can't be too careful. I wouldn't want to see Alice killed by an unfortunate accident. What do you mean, accident? <laughs> of course, he's going to claim like, Oh, I accidentally hit the wrong button. Oh. Ah, uh, yes, I want to hear this. Temyoji, before we went into the CDs, you told Alice there was something you wanted to tell her. Um, what was it? Huh? Oh, that, uh, well, I mean... Look, it wasn't important. Except it was somewhat important in that you told Alice beforehand and, well, made an effort to try to meet up with her so that you could tell her. Forget about it. Yeah, that's not really gonna cut it, Temyoji. Five minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Time's running out, people. Clover and I? What? And I? Why is Phi staying here? Phi offered to do so? Huh, Clover and I will stay here and keep an eye on Alice and Quark. Everyone else needs to go. What? You're staying too? Yeah. If something does happen, Clover might need a hand. Aren't you a solo? You're playing against Kay and Quark, but with Quark out, that means Kay would get to decide this whole round. Exactly. Are you saying that you trust me? Yes. Wow, Phi actually saying that she trusts K. Not that I 100% believe her. Even though I have 6 BP? Yes. Whoa, 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 are you nuts? What happens when he gets 9 BP? I'm not worried. K won't betray me. How can you know that? I just know, I guess. So she's getting premonitions too. This is really interesting. You just know? What the heck is wrong with you? Had something happened between Phi and K while they were out exploring? I understand. I can hardly betray trust like that, can I? I will vote for our team. Good, we're counting on you. And that smile. If only she trusted us! <laughs> I've had enough of this crap. Four minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Come on! We need to hurry. Hmm. Alright, you kids. Take care of those two, okay? Of course. We promise. With that, we were off. Time to get to our next Ambidex vote. I gave one last quick nod to Fi and Clover before heading back for the warehouse at a dead run.
So I think obviously we, we pick Ally here, right? We're with Clover, she is staying behind. We almost certainly pick Ally if we choose Betray. We probably get a game over because we leave alone, or like the other one, we try to leave once we get 9 points and get subdued by everyone or, or something like that. Everybody ready? I'm going to open my AB gate. Although I guess that doesn't really matter, Dio already opened one earlier. Then only you and I remain. Right. Okay, let's go. Two more AB gates slid open. We all shared one last look at each other before ducking into our respective rooms. Nobody to coordinate with at a time, obviously. Let's see how Luna acts. I would expect her to, you know, either completely let us make the decision, or to strongly support the decision to ally. Two minutes remain until Amidex game polling closes. What are you going to do? I mean, how are you going to vote? No question. If Clover isn't voting, then she's defaulting to ally. But to rank someone who isn't even playing hardly seems fair. Of course, I think so too. I'm just glad to hear you say it. That's actually lovely to hear. Luna is so precious. If this were any game not Zero Escape, I wouldn't have even a fraction of doubt about her. But because it's Zero Escape, I have to think that maybe it's a facade. But for the time being, we'll just relish in the positivity Luna brings to this game. <laughs> um, I'm also surprised that she's actually expressing her opinion so outwardly, as opposed to just completely deferring to us, right? Luna's face broke into a warm, happy smile. Not to be sappy, but it was like a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day. I grinned back at her before I knew what I was doing. For a minute, the nonary game didn't seem so scary. Then she spoke. Sigma, what's wrong with your hand? Huh? There's something white on it. There's what? What? What the heck is this? Excuse me? What is that? Is that our blood? For the first time since I'd found Alice in the crew quarters, I looked down at my hand. Across the palm was some sort of strange white liquid. For a moment, I thought I'd somehow touched some white paint or something similar. But the truth was far stranger. The liquid was coming from my hand. It was coming from the cut I'd given myself when I grabbed the scalpel away from Alice. And I'd imagine he would know if his blood has always been white or something like that. The other thing is, is this a symbol or a sign of infection with Radical Six? Is it a side effect of the anesthesia or something? Is it indicative of some other drug he's been given? But why? Where was the blood? I felt a very odd sort of fear begin to wrap its hand around my throat. Quickly, I held my palm against my chest. I shouldn't have let Luna see that. Are you alright? Yeah, it's nothing. I went to the pantry while I was looking for Alice. There was some milk and I spilled it. It sounded even stupider as I said it. Why is he lying? He, he's going to explain eventually. I mean, he brought Alice to the infirmary. It would make sense to say, hey, I got my hand cut, and I also don't know why it's white. <laughs> right? I feel like that's the honest thing to do. Poor Luna. Ah, oh, man. What could cause that, though? Right? That's so odd. I have no idea. Did he, did he touch something that would have reacted with blood to make it white? Really? Yeah. But... Just shut up! It's fine, alright, I'm fine, leave me alone! No! No! This game just can't let me feel good about myself! 
we finally get some cheeriness from Luna. She expresses how happy she is that we made the decision she agrees with. And then we just yell at her. Yell at her. Ugh. I regretted the words the moment they were out of my mouth. But something was wrong. Very wrong and my head was spinning. Sigma. Oh man. I'm so sorry. I just, it's... Just don't worry about it, okay? Thirty seconds remain until polling closes. There was no time left. I had to vote. I turned and faced the machine. I took a few deep breaths, but the chaos in my mind refused to calm itself. Calm down, just calm down. You need to think about the AB game right now. Just forget about your hand. Who was I kidding? There was no way I could forget about something like that. But you gotta vote, man! Ten seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ally. Round two of the Ambidex game has been completed. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. Oh boy. So, we obviously have a lot to figure out. What's going on with our hand? And now we also have a lot to mend, right? We've clearly just hurt our relationship with Luna. And she is definitely somebody we want on our side. Not because she would blackmail us or something like that, but because she's truly somebody that I think we can trust um, as an ally. Obviously, there's that 1% in the back of my head that's like, this is a zero escape game, and she could just be smiling while planning to, you know, murder us in, you know, in her head. But, um, <laughs> well, we'll see. We also have the results now, and I'm curious to see how it went. I'm really curious to see how Dio and Temyoji voted. Luna and I stepped out of the AB room. I could see the others filing out of the rooms as we did. So you chose Ally after all. Yeah. To be honest, the AB game was the last thing on my mind. As chaotic as my thoughts were, they all centered on one thing. The mysterious white liquid. Do you want to go see the results? Sure. We're gonna go see the results in just a second because I'm not gonna do that cliffhanger to you guys again. Ha, ah, psych! <laughs> we'll actually go take the results and then we'll probably call it there. But Luna nodded and walked off toward the projection, but I couldn't move. I glanced around to make sure no one was watching and opened my hand. The liquid didn't seem to have clotted or run out, since it was still oozing thickly out of the slit in my hand. What in the heck is this? It couldn't be blood, could it? No. That was impossible. No matter how many white blood cells clumped together, you'd never get anything that looked like that. And I'd never seen my blood do this before. In 22 years of my life, I'd seen my body bleed many times. Scraped knees as a kid, accidental nicks with a knife as an adult. But every single time, I'd bled red like any other human being. So why was it that this time, it was white? My, my guess is that he's been injected with something to participate in some sort of experiment. When we think back about 999, how it was all one sort of experiment and the game was created to put the players in dire situations, I would bet that Sigma is in a similar position where he's been experimented on or is being experimented on to some extent in the game exists to exacerbate conditions that will lead to some sort of phenomenon they're hoping to observe. And this may be the result of one of those drugs that he was given or something like that. What the heck is happening to me? Hey, Sigma! What are you doing? Get that go over here. They're gonna show the results. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, right. On my way. I did my best to compose myself and headed over to join the others. Let's see what happened. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. <clears throat> Please direct your attention to the results screen. Here we go, guys.
Okay. Ally, ally. Alright. So the first round where literally everybody allied. Lovely. Alice is out of the danger zone. Temyoji's out of the danger zone. Temyoji and Dio. I really want to see how that dynamic played out. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. There we have it. This is incredible. Yeah, Luna's obviously excited. I I want to see how everybody else reacted, though. Who trusted who, who didn't trust who. And now that we have everybody chosen ally, nobody can walk out the door. How everything else is going on, right? What's going on with Clover and Fi? Did anything happen with Quark and Alice? Those are the questions I'm curious about now. And I hope you guys are looking forward to finding those answers just as, my, just as much as I am. But... Well, of course, we're going to be doing all that in the next episode. I did give you guys the results this time, I promise. And I'm going to have to wait, too, to rest my voice a little bit from all, all the recording. I've been playing this game so much. But we need to repair our relationship with Luna because I feel really bad about it, just as a person, I guess. She's such a sweetheart, and we just yell at her like, like nothing. Obviously, you know, Sigma was under experiencing some duress, but it was uh, not, still not a good reason. So... Anyways, I'm looking forward to seeing how the rest of this timeline unfolds, and uh, I, you know, this game, right, it makes you feel good for one second, lets you be happy for like a second, and then it just hits you hard with something. I can only imagine, everything's, everything's gonna be all happy in the warehouse, and we're gonna go back to the infirmary, and it's gonna be like, ugh, right in the gut. So, <laughs> we'll see. But, until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.